Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I love? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence and the season of giving. Right now over on Patreon.com slash Inkdependence, patrons get a patron-only Discord. They get ad-free video and they get the joy of knowing that they have supported this channel. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and it is day six of Inkvent. I've still got purple under my nails. I cannot get that out of there. Uh, so let's try to find day six here. Um, here we go, right over here. Day five was over here. Today we're on day six. Oh, it's another chameleon. I can see that from the side. What do we have here? Uh, Bucks Fizz. Bucks Fizz, what in the world is that? Chameleon Bucks Fizz. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be in orange or yellow or something. All right, I gotta Google what Bucks Fizz is here while uh, we're watching this thing dry. Let's go ahead and shake it up a little bit, get it on our paper, and then uh, see what we've got. So I looked it up and Buck's Fizz is another name for a mimosa. So I drew, well, I attempted to draw kind of a mimosa glass, but I realized I started too high and didn't have enough room up here. So it's kind of a, I don't know, a big old goblet and maybe it spilled a whole bunch. That has not even come close to drying. It was way too much ink that fell off the nib there. Uh, and then I tried to draw an orange and then like, a, I don't know, a champagne glass or a decanter or something. It didn't go super well, but like whatever. This is a really nice kind of yellow gold with a bunch of gold shimmer. This is a chameleon shimmer. It is pretty bright. Well, I'm only seeing, I think one color off of it, which is interesting. Cause like I said, in a couple other videos, usually these will have a pair of colors though. I think maybe this is just a, like it's just a very bright golden yellow shimmer in this one. I'm not seeing anything else going on there. So, uh, this is, uh, Audrey's swatch and I think hers came out a little bit, a little bit better than mine. I actually had a lot of trouble getting it to stick to my letter opener. It wouldn't stick more than just like a tiny little dribble at a time. Uh, whereas she definitely got a little bit more on there. So I think if you put this in a wet pen, you're going to get more of this action and that's pretty darn good, but it is a very nice bright chameleon. So I dig that. Uh, there you go. And of course, uh, these are brought to you by Trufay this year. So thanks very much Trufay. Uh, definitely check out Trufay for your stationery needs. I have a couple of, uh, well, I have a few colors here I want to show you. Just a couple of not shimmer ones. Firstly, this is Stipula's Saffron, which I think is pretty close. It definitely, I think, has this kind of red edge shading that you're never going to see in Bucks Fizz either way here. So I think this is a little bit uh, redder, but the interior and the exterior, like this little bit over here, look very similar. So that's an interesting color. And then I also pulled this one, which is Peniter... Mm, Hilo Oro? I don't know Italian, but uh, this is a very similar kind of color, but I think it goes more yellow and less orange. Or maybe this goes a little peach, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. It might skew a little bit peach, which is kind of interesting. All right, let's look at some shimmers. Uh, firstly, Esterbrook Shimmer Tangerine. There is, of course, a non-shimmer version of this tangerine ink, but uh, this is a little bit darker than either of our swatches there, but it has a bunch of shimmer in it as well. So maybe, uh, maybe a pretty close match there with Esterbrook Shimmer tangerine also have uh diamine and shimmertastic inferno which i thought maybe somebody would ask about this doesn't look like that at all it's way too dark much more of a red orange then we've got uh vinta and cult pens whiskey gold which is definitely more of a brown yellow but still a ton of uh shimmer in this one as well i gotta get this in a pen just looking at that i'm like ooh, look at that uh next up diamine golden star or gold star this is 2019's ink vent and this one i think is less successful it's a much paler Paler yellow and doesn't have nearly the shimmer content, I don't think, of the, the rest of these. But uh, I wanted to show that alongside. We've also got Papier Plume's Doubloon. Papier Plume did this last year uh, for, uh, oh yeah, it's 2023. This is this year. I wonder if this, oh, it must have been a Mardi Gras, actually. Uh, Papier Plume Doubloon. But yeah, much more yellow, much more of a, a golden yellow there. Then we have Colorverse Project 008 Ornament Yellow, which is a really interesting one that I wanted to show. It's not really the same as Buck's Fizz here, but look at that, like, copper shimmer in that yellow ink. It's a really cool effect and probably one to, to check out there as well. And then lastly, I pulled this one. This is Pen BBS Shanghai, which is... I mean, probably my favorite orange shimmer ever. This is a really amazing Pin BBS ink. 
and there is a, a just a ton of shimmer in this ink, but it never seems to stop up a pen. Audrey had this in a pen for at least a year straight with no stop ups, which is pretty impressive. So uh, not a chameleon, but man, so much shimmer in Shanghai and a kind of a kind of similar color as well. So that's pretty neat. This is a little bit more peach, I think. So I don't have anything that's a perfect match, but a couple of these are pretty close. And I think uh, tangerine and uh, probably this, uh, this this saffron are probably the closest things to it. So there you go. Another chameleon. And uh, I think another winner for this uh, this ink pen. I got to put this in a pen maybe because uh, that's it's really pretty exciting. So thanks very much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow for day seven. And uh, that's it. I'll see you later. Peace out.